I stick my hip out to the side. See that? I'm going to throw him over my hip. Okay. Get rid of his balance. Right here. Turn around a little wider. Now watch how I throw him. The old saying, one thing leads to another, is true, and that's especially the case in teaching judo. This video focuses on how to progress from one technique that teaches the gross motor skills of a movement onto a technique that refines those gross motor skills into more specific body movement. Two techniques that have a natural progression will be examined in this video. Kubinagi, progressing on to Koshigaruma. Teaching a lead-up skill and then progressing to a similar technique that requires more precise skills is an effective way of teaching judo at any level, and most especially at the beginning level. This is what I call teaching judo in layers, sequential teaching. In this video, Kubinagi will be taught, and this leads to Koshigaruma. Kubinagi, while a valid and effective technique in and of itself, is a natural lead-up to Koshigaruma since they have so many things in common. And this progression then con continued to later training. Koshigaruma is a natural lead-up skill to Harai Goshi and other forward-throwing techniques. Now we're facing each other. Okay, now with my right foot, I'm kind of leading, I'm putting my right foot here. See how it's right front? So my right foot is straight down from my hip. I'm not like leaning this way, I'm grabbing this way, I'm grabbing this way. Yeah? Because I want my foot right here between my legs. See that? Okay. So my foot's in kind of position to throw. It's going to be a starting position. Okay? I pop him up. Now, with my right hand, I'm going to grab around his neck and I'm going to grab his jacket right at the shoulder. If he had just a shirt on, I could grab his shirt or he can grab his shoulder. But grab, it's better I didn't grab his jacket or his shirt. You got a better grip. Okay? And I'm still pulling all the way. See how I'm really pulling him? See that, everybody? You're going you're gonna to do this too. Okay, so we're going to get balance up, grab around his shoulder. Okay? I'm going to turn around in front of him. But when I turn around in front of him, I'm going to turn around with my legs are a little wider. See my legs? And I'm going to stick my hip out to the side. See that? I'm going to throw them over my hip. Okay. Okay, break his balance. Grab right here. Turn around a little wider. Now watch how I throw them. Right over my hip. As mentioned earlier, the reason Kubinagi is taught as a lead-up skill to Koshigruma is to enable the students to develop the gross motor skills of throwing someone over the hip. When the student develops a basic level of skill and confidence in Kubinagi, introduce Koshigaruma. Koshigaruma is important because it teaches the students to use efficient body posture and the ability to lift, wheel, and project another person over the hip. This skill is essential for all forward techniques in Judo. Take your kumikata, your, your right hand on the, on the uh, lapel, left hand on the sleeve, just about the triceps area, okay? So I come around, turn, turn this way. I, now, when I start to throw, I, my initial stance, I want to make sure my foot is in between his stance here. So my right foot, my lead leg, is, is directly straight down from my lead hip, okay? So, so that's the basic position to start. Right? So uh, I don't want to be back here. I want to be back here where... My hips are close enough, about a hand length away, that I can easily get in and throw them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to break his balance. And again, I might add, first of all, we'll eventually get into where you can move an opponent into this to learn it. Basically, you know, from the very start, do it just this way where he's standing still. So it's an easy way to learn it. It's a better way to learn it to start. So we'll grip here. I'm going to pop his, I'm going to break his balance, break his posture by pulling up. On, with my left hand on the elbow, on his elbow, this way up and out. See this? And I'm looking at the back of my wrist, and my line of pull is a straight line of pull way out here like this. So, and my right hand will be lifting as I do this. So I, I pop him up. Okay? In this position, I will be popping him up like this. Okay? All right. So, I'll pop him up. And with, now I keep pulling with my left hand. My right hand, I'm going to reach around, and I'm going to. Hook all the way around, I'm going to grab his shoulder at his judo gi here, at his, his shoulder area. So pop him up and shoot here and come in. Now, when I do this, look at my body position. My knees are pointed to the left and my, hip, my feet are pointed to the left. Okay? I'm not squatting real low, don't need to be. I'm pulling him up onto my hip. Okay? All right. So break the balance, grab here, turn around, and I went through him. 
just like that. When I throw him, keep hold of his left arm and just let him fall naturally. There's a good break, break fall there.